Hey guys, in the last video we have integrated um, or installed SSL certificate for our Unity connection and USSX. Now in this video what we are going to do is we are going to focus on integrating call manager with LDAP. So uh, let me, before we begin, uh, I'll just give you a brief about LNAP. So LNAP is lightweight directory access protocol which is used uh, as a tool to query uh, the directory services on your active directory. So you can locate any of the user individual uh, company information uh, using LDAP and LDAP is a, basically a tool. So the users are basically stored in active directory. So now uh, the, why, the re, why we are uh, choosing uh, to integrate with LNAP. So uh, to give you a small example is, let's say if you have a user A who has joined the organization recently. Now let's say you don't have a LNAP system or you don't have Active Directory in your organization. So what you have to do is you have to create a user A in many of the applications. For example, let's say payroll, let's say SAP, let's say call manager, let's say unity connection etc so the same user will be uh, will have to be replicated in many of these application now uh, if let's say the user has to change the password for his one of the account so he has to change the password in one of these applications in each of these applications individually now let's say if the user is leaving the organization then the admin has to clean up the um, user data from each of these applications manually so now let's say if you have a active directory then you don't have to play with all these inf all these things so what you can do is you can create a user account in active directory and then uh, this by integrating with ldap the user will be reflected in all these applications uh, automatically <clears throat> So when the, when the user leaves the organization, you have to just delete the account from the Active Directory, not from individual this each of these applications individually. So this is the benefit of using um, you know Active Directory um, and integrate with LNAP. So uh, let's try to uh, you know um, create uh, some user accounts and integrate Call Manager with LNAP. So I'll log into the remote system. So here, what I'll do is I'll go to search, type users. So Active Directory users and computers. So this page will open. So I'll click on this user and then I'll create a new account, which is new user. So I'm creating a LDAP account so that, you know, this LDAP account can be used by the CUCM to you know query the services in the Active Directory. So I'll give the name as uh, LNAP admin and the login name as LNAP admin. So we are going to use LNAP admin at the rate uccollabing.com in order to query the user accounts from the Active Directory. Click on next, put a password. And then we'll uncheck this box that the user cannot user must not change the password at next login and we'll check this box user cannot change password and password never expires click on next click on finish so this account has been created so now what we have to do is we have to integrate uh, the call manager with uh, the active directory using LDAP so I'll open Internet Explorer and type the call manager URL uccin ccme.uccollabing.com okay I'll click on call manager here I'll key in the password. So 
as I said, like you can have uh, the local users, which we can create in the applications individually. So you can see the local local users from the user management here. Click on end user and click on find. So you can create the local users here uh, manually by clicking on add new. If you have a LDAP integrated system, you don't have to add user accounts the user accounts will reflect automatically so let's see how this works so in order to integrate LDAP with your call manager you have to go to system then you have to go to LDAP and LDAP system the first and the foremost thing is you have to check this box enable synchronization from LDAP server and you have to leave everything as default Microsoft Active Directory and your SM account name click on save the next thing what you have to do is go to LDAP then click on LDAP directory so click on add new okay so let's give it LDAP configuration name so this is the basic page where you have to fill in the information so the name can be anything I'll just put it as LDAP or maybe CUCM LDAP now it is asking for the LDAP manager distinguished name. So this is going to be the name what we have kept in uh, uh, use for the account, LDAP account. And this is going to be this account, LDAP admin at the rate uccollabing.com. Yeah, so this is going to be the LDAP admin at the rate you see collabing.com what we have created and the same password what we have used to create the account now next comes the user search base so how do you know the user search pieces so there's an application called or EDS I did so let's use that <clears throat> now right click on this connect to just click on ok default naming double click on this click on user now let's search for the LDAP admin you see here so this is like uh, your CN name is LDAP admin, CN user is user, DC is usicolabbing, and DC is .com. So we have to use this uh, uh, distinguished name here, and then you, we have to enter this information back to the call manager. So let's put in the search base here. CN equal to users. So CN equal to users and then DC equal to UC collabing comma DC equal to UC collabing comma DC equal to com and you see DC equal to com so this is what we need to key in CN users DC using uh, DC equal to UC collabing and DC equal to com this is going to be the search piece and LDAP custom filter we'll talk about this later in the videos what LDAP custom filter is and how do you want to sync the LDAP it is asking you do you want to sync every day or do you want to sync uh, every hour or you want to sync, sync once in a week or once in a month it depends on you how you want to sync so I'll keep it as default and we'll sync it manually whenever required but ideally in the production system it may be like R and it syncs the LDAP system every four hours probably it depends on the company company to company uh, policy so the next thing is access control group so I'll keep this part as default I'm not going to uh, choose anything here so it go it is going to remain same as it is and the next thing is access control group so what is the access you want to give to the users that are going to be the sync with the call manager so by default let's say we will give uh, end user access contains so I'll type 
end user privilege so by default let's say we are going to give ccm end users um, you know con control and then here it is going to ask you for the LDAP server information. So our LDAP server information is 192.168.1.175. So this is our LDAP information. Uh, I'll just copy this search base because we have to use this in uh, one more section. Okay. And I'll just click on save. We are not using SSL, so I have not checked SSL. Okay. So now one more section which I was talking about come to LDAP authentication so this talks about like uh, use LDAP authentication for end users so yes so whenever end users log into the, any of these applications uh, so it is going to use LDAP as to authenticate so as I said like in the LDAP distributions uh, LDAP manager distribution name so we'll put as LDAP and the password sorry it is going to be the LDAP admin at sqlabbing.com and the password and then the search base so search base we have put it same what we have used in the previous section and the IP address of the server and we are not going to check this box SSL and click on save Okay, so we are done with the basic integration. So you have to make sure like the uh, directory services are turned on. So we have already enabled it in from the serviceability page uh, and uh, we don't have to turn it on because in the initial section we have enabled all the services. But if in case if you are facing issues, you have to make sure that the service directory service is running up and fine. So now let's see here if any of the end users are appearing here. You see, there are zero records. So let's create some end user here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come here, I'll click on this ADSI edit. And I'll go to the Active Directory users and then right click New User. And let's put Tom A. Tom A has the username. Let's say there is a user called Tom and his last name is A. His full name is Tom A and we have kept his user ID as Tom A at the rate usequalabbing.com. And let's give a password for the user who has joined the organization recently. Pa password never, uh, will not check this box. Password never expires um, because the user uh, there, is, there can be a policy where the password will expire in X number of days and the user has to change the password and we will also not check this box user cannot change password because we'll allow the user to change their own password so I'll not check any of this box here finish now Tom E is synced with the oh sorry is added to the active directory now by default it is not going to appear here so if you remember there was a lab sync option let's go to lab directory so see lab so by default we are going to sync every seventh day so instead of doing that what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a manual sync perform full sync now sorry the password do not match for some reason okay I'll click on save so I'll perform a manual sync. It is going to give you a warning. We'll click on OK. Okay, update sync initiated. So it depends on the number of users you have in Active Directory. So the users will appear accordingly. So if you have a huge database, so give a call manager some time so that the you know a user will reflect in the call manager uh, in some time. So but in our case uh, the there are no much users, so I'll click on end user here right now. Okay, so the user is not yet synced. So it's still syncing with the, the call manager. So, so let's give it some time.
okay i think the sync is completed now it is giving us perform full sync now let's click on end user okay we see uh, tom a has appeared here as a active user so you see here tommy has the user last name has appeared here first name is here and by default it is going to get ccm end user rules okay so this is how we integrate a call manager with lab so <clears throat> As I said, like uh, once you have um, you edit users in Active Directory, so it takes some time for the users to, for the sync to happen. So which depends on the configuration that what you have put in in the LDAP directory sync. It can be seven days, it can be four hours, it can be six hours, it can be number of weeks, months, etc. So and it depends on the number of uh, users you have in your Active Directory the user will reflect accordingly it may take some time for the users to reflect uh, i hope you like this video um, see you in the next video thank you for watching